After months of waiting, the image feature for GPT-4, OpenAI's newly launched AI model, has finally been released. When OpenAI announced GPT-4, the tech giant said that the model was going to be multimodal, meaning that GPT-4 was going to be able to process not just text alone, but also images, audio, and video. But when the model was finally launched, it could only process text, which was not what people had anticipated. However, they had finally started rolling out the image feature, and we'll get into that in a bit. But before we begin, welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. So subscribe to stay updated on how AI is reshaping our world. Without further ado, let's dive in. If you're a tech enthusiast like me, then you've probably been waiting for OpenAI to roll out GPT-4's image feature. The good news is, you don't have to wait forever because the tech giant has started rolling out the feature to some select users. However, they're doing it through Microsoft's Bing chatbot. Also, the rollout is very slow, as only around 2-5% to of Bing's chat users have access to this feature as of now. Even though we don't have access to this new image feature, I'm still going to explain to you exactly what it does and how it works, so that when you have access to it, you can try it out for yourself. The few lucky users that have access to this new image feature have released some interesting information that is just mind-blowing. Now, we all know that GPT-4 is a very powerful AI model, but this takes things to a whole new level. GPT-4's image feature actually comes in two modes. The first is the image creation mode, and the second is the image recognition mode, all of which are only accessible through Microsoft Bing at the moment. Now, you may be among the lucky few who have access to this new feature, so to check, Simply go to Microsoft Bing and open the chat window. If you're prompted to add an image through this little camera icon on the right side of your screen, then you have been given access to try out this new feature. If not, then you'll have to wait patiently. But while you're waiting, we've done some digging and we've found some really good stuff from users who have access to the feature. So we'll take a look at what they've been doing with it. First off, We'll be looking at the image recognition feature. In this image, a Reddit user with access to the new image feature gave GPT-4 an image and asked it to describe what was going on in the image. To the user's surprise, the chatbot got the answer correctly. So this is the response from Bing Image Recognition. I see you have a nice CPU cooler with a Dragon Ball Z sticker on it. The cord you're holding looks like a fan connector. It is used to power the fan on the cooler and control its speed. GPT-4 managed to recognize every bit of information in the image and explain it. This is absolutely mind-boggling, and it's something we have never seen before. This proves that large language models can actually recognize an image, process information about what it's seeing, and give feedback but this is just one example. Another user had a totally different idea. This time, they gave an image of a CAPTCHA to the Bing chatbot, and its response was totally unexpected. It did say the words in the image are overlooks and inquiry, but quickly tried to take a few steps back, and here's what it said. Is this a CAPTCHA test? If so, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. CAPTCHAs are designed to prevent automated bots like me from accessing certain websites. Though the chatbot refused to offer its assistance, it was able to read what was in the image and give the user feedback. Here's another example. This time, a user tried to see if the chatbot could recognize an image and use it as a teaching aid. So, this is the prompt they gave it. Act as the best teacher in the world. Teach me this, please. I really struggle with this topic. Then they gave the image as the input and this is the response they got from Bing. I'm happy to help you learn about the nephron. The nephron is the basic unit of the kidney and so on. Now, this example here shows a novel way we can use this chatbot 
we can use it as a teaching aid by simply uploading images or diagrams and asking it to explain what you want the AI to do for you. This will be especially useful to students or teachers in getting detailed explanations from complex diagrams. The next example we have is quite interesting. Here, a user asked the Bing chatbot to describe an image in detail and explain the theory behind it. The chatbot was able to recognize what it was and said this image shows a bruise on a person's arm. This is a skin discoloration caused by a blood vessel break and then goes on to even further explain in greater detail what exactly is going on, what it's reading, how it analyzed it, and actually what's going on under the surface to cause it. Honestly, this is mind-blowing. Sadly, only very few users have access to this particular feature for now. I think Microsoft is doing some sort of test before they start rolling it all out to all users. But hopefully, more users will be given access to it soon enough. However, the image recognition ability is not the only GPT-4 powered image feature on Bing. Microsoft released its own free AI text-to-image generator called Bing Image Creator a few months back. And this tool also leverages the power of GPT-4 to generate photorealistic images. Similar to other AI image generators like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, this image generator uses text prompts from users to generate images. Interestingly, the tool has also been integrated into Bing Chat, thereby enhancing its functionality. So, what this does is that you can request the chatbot to redefine your prompts and make them better and it will do it for you. You can even take it a step further by asking the chatbot to craft a prompt for you. Another thing about the image generation feature in Bing Chat is that you can request additions to an already generated image in a follow-up message with the chatbot. Most other image generators will require you to rewrite your entire prompt if you want to make changes to the image output. But in Bing Chat, you can simply type in a new message and the chatbot will regenerate a new image. Now, you might be wondering, why use Bing's image creator when you can just make use of Dolly 2, OpenAI's original image generator? Well, unlike Bing's image generator, Dolly 2 is not free. It requires you to pay before accessing it. However, you can still get a similar experience by using the Bing Image Creator. But there are some downsides. For instance, Bing Image Creator lacks some of the advanced editing features present in Dolly 2. Now, unlike Dolly 2, Bing Image Creator uses something called boosts rather than tokens for image generation. Each boost allows you to create an image instantly but once you exhaust your boosts, you'll have to wait a while longer for your images to be generated. But remember, Bing Image Creator is entirely free, so it's not that bad. In fact, Microsoft has deliberately excluded any option for payment. This shows that they're willing to provide exceptional tools to their users for free. Also, I think this is Microsoft's way of attracting more people to Bing. They have been competing with Google for the majority of the search engine market. And this move gives Microsoft a significant upper hand over Google. Bing Image Creator is available to users all over the world, so you can try it out for yourself and see how it compares to other image generators. Honestly, Microsoft has supercharged Bing Chat with its new image feature, making it the most powerful chatbot around. For now, the image recognition feature hasn't been made available to most users, but we can expect to see it anytime in the coming months. What do you think about GPT-4's new image feature and how Microsoft is using it in Bing Chat? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the latest developments in the world of AI.